This is a DIY spot welder kit which is powered using this 12 volt car battery which can be used to weld lithium ion battery cells using nickel strips to create a battery pack. To use this spot welder, connect the PCB to the battery, place the nickel strip on the cell, press and hold the two copper probes along with the nickel strip on the battery which is a bit difficult doing at the same time unless you have an extra hand. Also there is a danger of the probes touching each other which can create a huge spark or even short the circuit. To make using this kit easier, I have made this simple 3D printed battery mounted spot welder which holds the probes in place, is mounted onto the battery, has a downward press mechanism with a spring and a lever and can be operated easily with one hand. Not only does it improve the quality of welds, but it also does a neater job and makes it faster to use the spot welder. In this video, I will show you how you can make it to improve the quality of your welds to create better battery packs. So let's get started. I designed everything in Fusion 360, keeping in mind the height I require and other parameters. Then I printed all the parts in PETG material on my Ghost 6 3D printer. The assembly is quite simple. First unplug the spot welder wires from the battery. Mount the base plate onto the battery using the two battery mounts. And attach the PCB on the base using M3 screws. Now insert the spring into the slot. Join the probe arms to the mount plate using M5 screw and nut. Insert the probe in the arms and secure them with M3 screws. Once the probes are in place, place the cells below and adjust the angle so that both the probes are at a 45 degree angle from the cells and have equal distance. Tighten the screws so that they stay in place. Attach the lever using M5 screw. And now the spot welder is ready for use. To use this spot welder, simply place the battery cells below and power on the board. The PCB has a power button which can also be used to set the power output. Simply long press the power button and you will see the green light blinking. The number of blinks tells us the power level. It has up to 6 power levels after which the light turns off. Once you set the desired power, place the nickel strip on the battery. Place the battery below the probes and press the lever down. Hold it until you hear a beep sound from the PCB. The spring pushes the lever up to avoid any further contact. Repeat this process until all cells are welded to the nickel strip. The welds are more neater and uniform now. This simple solution has made it much easier and faster for me to weld these lithium ion cells to create a battery pack which I will be showing in the next video. As always, you can find the part links, CAD files for the design and other resources in the video description. That's all for today and I'll see you guys in the next video.